in that community where they go in and performing at the show. How much money did he donate to any of them? How much money did he personally donate to any one of those charities? Okay? Yeah, Seriously. He, he's spinning her. She done forgot the question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's off on he's off on another planet talking about shit at this point. Talking about charities and talking about stuff. He just rambling. <laughs> Wow. Like they, she asked you, how was Tupac as a person? As a person, and he's talking about. You would have asked Shug that. He would have had a. He would have had some personal stories. You would have asked Daz that. He would have had some personal stories. This thing yeah, is y'all look like you took out a copy of Vibe magazine. And was reading an article about him. <laughs> wow. All the stuff he talking about. People that was born after he was dead. No. Like that shit from magazines and, and interviews and shit like that. Mm -hmm. like, Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You should say, yo, Tupac ain't fuck with the police. I don't know. <laughs> well, he didn't. That was a, He shot police. Right. That is exactly. Know. He didn't have, so, he didn't have a high Tupac feet. was talking that in 1995, 1996. So I just asked the question when you say what type of person he was. That's what, that's what I remember about Tupac and the way he was thinking and how things that he said or, or preached or was talking about in 95, 96, he's doing, or we doing now in 2024. Another perfect example, and I'm not taking away from what Snoop Dogg did to, with the football draw league. Me a chart that. At this point, Joe, can you draw me a chart to try I can, so I can understand where that just went? I need to see it on like a graph where you graph <laughs> out what his answer was so that I can actually make sense of it. You need a chart. God. <laughs> He, yeah. he lost me about his first yeah, yeah, I was Tupac as a person. How you get on Snoop now? Like, yo, yeah. yo, he was spinning her like crazy, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love what, what, what Snoop doing with that. That show, I hate that. I'm disappointed that he let those kids do all that cussing in there. But other than that, loved it. But right. what I'm trying to say is that was Pac's ideal. To do no football leagues and and no football uh, programs and stuff like that. I'm glad Snoop Dogg picked up the baton and yeah, ran and did it. You let him get killed. Too bad you. Too bad your security sucked. Yeah, he wanted to do all those things, and you just blow it off. He just this clown just blows it off like, well, I was a little negligent. Maybe you know, maybe I could have done a few things wrong. Right? I mean. You know, I could have done a diff things different, and you know, and it's like, and now he want to talk about all the things Tupac could have done. Really, yeah. like nigga, you the like, you the one reason why he dead. Like you I mean, crazy? Yeah, I mean that's the thing that amazes me about this cat is that you never see an ounce. All you see is the blame game, point fingers, everybody else making excuses after the fact, and then turn around and say, "Oh well, gosh, I messed up." And, right. and, you know, and it's like, no, if anybody for a minute ever saw a hint of remorse or regret or anything like that at all. No, he's too busy hating on everybody and too busy trying to keep up the excuses and keep up the finger pointing, you know, yeah. bottom line, you know, that that's it. I mean, so, yeah, he, he can talk about he can talk about all the things Tupac could have been too bad. You didn't think about that when you were signing security to him. That's what I got to say. When he should have been signing security to him. Yeah. You think about all those things that Tupac could have been before. Did I say Tupac? I mean, Tupac. Sorry. Boy, that was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? Um, well, I'll say that. You know, when, you, when you're when you in charge, you're supposed to be, what do you say, head of security for death row? If that's going to be your job and that's your guy and Tupac was that guy and you're saying all these things that Tupac could have been, too bad you weren't thinking that before you didn't give them no radios and before you told them they couldn't have no guns and, you know, and all the other bullshit that happened that night. That's too bad because you're right. Tupac could have been a lot of things, but when he ran into guys like you, his number one up. Right. And she, she going to get to those things too. She did talk all about right. those things. Wait till you get to see what he say. Hold on. All right. He will give Pac the credit for that. But if you listen to anything on Pac in the 1996, he was talking about doing programs like that. What's your so, relationship now with uh, Snoop? <clears throat> Snoop is uh, my favorite artist over Tupac. Um, 
because that's the music that What's I your relationship grew up. with Snoop. <laughs> oh, I just, see that I question from his, Diddy. I just put his wife on blast for her side, <laughs> nigga. And that what do you mean? What is your relationship with Snoop? I'm attacking him right now on Suge Knight's fake Twitter page. He's extorting him on vi YouTube videos. <laughs> right. You know, and pay she, me or I'll put your pictures up. Wait, and, what's your relationship with Snoop? Yeah. Hey, nice. Play that you again. Know, he, play that again. I, Roll that yeah. back and play that again. Play, play that, that, that response again when she said, what's your relationship with Snoop? He's 96. So I just asked the question when you're saying what type of person he was. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I remember about Tupac and the way he was thinking and how things that he said or, or preached or was talking about in 95, 96, <laughs> he's doing or we doing now in 2024. Another perfect example, and I'm not taking away from what Snoop Dogg did, with the football league and all of that, mm -hmm. love what 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 Snoop doing with that that show. I hate that. I'm disappointed that he let those kids do all of that cussing in there. Yeah, but other than that, it, how was Tupac as a person? Oh, right. let me tell you about this time that he was at a, a, a rally. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm Loved waiting it. for that. What I'm trying to say is Snoopy. that was Pac's oh. ideal to do those football leagues and and no football uh, programs and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm glad Snoop Dogg picked up the baton and ran and did it, but I wish he would give Pac the credit for that. But if you listen to anything on Pac in the 1996, he was talking about doing programs like that. What's your so, relationship now with uh, Snoop? <clears throat> Snoop? <laughs> you can't make uh, shit up like that. Good, Man, that should be a meme. What's your relationship with Snoop? He caught COVID. Yeah. <laughs> all over again oh, he'll make up some excuse like you know that that's a remnant from his covid or something like that yeah. Shit. i'm disappointed that he let those kids do all that cussing in there but other than that love with you, with, but with what snoop. i'm trying to say is that was pop's ideal to do no football leagues and and no football uh programs and stuff like that i'm glad snoop dogg picked up the baton and ran and did it but i wish he would give Pac the credit for that but if you listen to anything on Park in the 1996, he was talking about doing programs like that. What's your relationship now with uh, Snoop? <clears throat> Snoop is um, my favorite artist over Tupac uh, because that's the music that I grew up in and came up with Death Row Under. Uh, All Eyes on Me is my favorite album, but Tupac, as far as his, his, his body of work, Snoop Dogg is there. Snoop you saying Snoop no. over Jay Z too? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm never been. I'm not an East Coast dude, so I'm not gonna ever say nothing bad about a West Coast artist. My top five. The only one I get from the East Coast is DMX. I'm. I'm just. That's just me. Okay. Uh, but my top five is Q, Snoop, Pac, DMX, and uh, and then I love E40. So okay. those. Those my five. My top five. Okay, but I know you your question your was, huh? <laughs> you repping your place, okay? I, you know, but I threw X in there. I threw X in there. Yeah, I know. Um, but um, and I love Ghetto Boys as a group. Ghetto Boys is my favorite over Dog Pound as a group. Uh, I okay. forgot the question. My wife is over there telling me <laughs> what was the question, but I forgot. You know what? I was my relationship with Snoop, is, and uh, okay, I'll go he to was it. Checking with I don't his have wife one with him over Kirk. there. He just said that his wife was off or off camera. He checks with his wife every time he gives an answer because his yeah, wife's standing him. right there. You, you, I thought you were joking. Him. I thought you were kidding at first. No, when you no. Said, Maybe it was his wife is. over there. I yeah, thought you were know. making a joke, but no. No joke. Choke, no joke. No, sir. <laughs> no. All right, let me keep going. Currently, 
we have a, uh, we know each other. He listens to my, um, my podcast and my, uh, you know, on bomb first, but I'm a, a Suge Knight defender, even though I get mad and disappointed in Suge and some things that he do and say. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo, RJ. You got to take it off mute. You know, I got another one. You know, okay. You, nothing but respect for Suge. Because that before or after you took all the properties? <laughs> hey, yeah, hold on. That nigga said, me... Me and Snoop is cool. You know, he watched my podcast. <laughs> you up there posting pictures of his wife? We yeah. got nothing to do with nothing. Right. right, and threatening to put more up, too. Right, and then you routine. turn around and say, you a big Suge Knight defender? You've been dragging Suge for the last three years. Yo, you said he killed Biggie with Poochie. Yeah. With Poochie. And now you Russ Poole was, was right. He, you know, that's a video that'll go down in infamy. Russ Poole was right. Russ Poole was right. Should killed him. Yeah, he did. They shout out, as Kimmy would say, shout out to Vlad TV on that one. Right. You know, can't take that shit down. 